Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be USMLE Step 1 Buzzwords Part 2. Hopefully you've had a chance to watch Part 1 and that was beneficial for you. This is the second part in the series uh, and it's going to be the same structure. So let's go ahead and just get started. Uh, the first buzzword is going to be hour rods. And if you see this, I want you to associate it with acute myeloblastic leukemia. I know hour rods can be associated with a couple of um, different cancers, but the main one, when you see hour rods, you want to think AML. The next one, beta sheets and gray matter. If you see this, think about Creutzfeldt Jakob disease. There's really no other brain pathologies that are going to have this appearance or this description. So if you see it, beta sheets and gray matter, you want to think about Creutzfeldt Jakob disease. That's the prion disease. The next one, basophilia. Really, one of the only conditions that you're ever going to see questions about this on are talking about chronic myeloid leukemia. So this is CML. The next one, basophilic stifling. Most medical students know this one. It's associated with lead poisoning. If you ever see a bat bite, I want you to think about rabies. Uh, I believe uh, the most common cause of rabies is actually a bat bite, as opposed to some other animal that people may think. So if you see a, a patient that had a bat bite, you definitely want to be thinking about rabies. The next one, Ben's jones proteins. Most medical students know this as well. This is multiple myeloma. Remember, you also want to be on the lookout for those punched out lesions and bones uh, when it comes to mul multiple myeloma. The next one, a bicuspid aortic valve. If you see this, you want to be thinking about a patient with Turner syndrome. Remember, this is 45 ecto. If you see a bite cell or a degmocyte, they might use either of those terms to try and throw you off. You want to be thinking about G6PD deficiency. Black urine, if you see a patient with black urine, you want to be thinking about alcaptonuria. And go al going along with that bluish black sclera, if a patient has those, you also want to be thinking about alcaptonuria in that patient. Next one, a brown tumor. Really the only time you're going to see this mentioned is if you're talking about osteitis fibrosa cystica. And then Bruton's tyrosine kinase deficiency. If you see this in a question, you want to be thinking about X-linked A-gamma globulinemia. Another one is Burr cell, which could also be called an echinocyte, so be sure to know both names because they can use them interchangeably. But if you see that, you want to be thinking about a pyruvate kinase deficiency. I know there are some other conditions where you can see Burr cells, but the one that I've seen most in questions is uh, a pyruvate kinase deficiency. CA19-9, this is one of those tumor markers. and or cancer markers, excuse me, and if you see that, it's going to be talking about pancreatic cancer. CAG, trinucleotide repeat, most students know this one as well. This is in reference to Huntington's disease. CD14, this is one of the many CD markers that will appear on the test, and this is talking about monocyte and macrophage lineage. Most students know the CD4, CD8, CD20, those kinds of things. CD14 is a little less known. Um, but you definitely want to know it as well. So it's a monocyte or macrophage lineage that they'll be talking about. Tarkot lading crystals, this is in reference to asthma. I also talked about this in the step one high yield images video, so a little bit of crossover there. CGG, trinucleotide repeat, if you see this, uh, it'll be talking about fragile X syndrome. The next one, flu cells, this is a pretty common one. Uh, it also comes up on histology and under microscopy. And it's talking about bacterial vaginosis. Cola colored urine. Uh, they might say that outright or they might not. They might describe it some other way. But if you see that term, you want to be thinking of post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. The next one, cough, coryza, and conjunctivitis. These are the three C's that are associated with measles. I doubt that they'll just give you that straight up and make the question that easy. But if they do, you can make the association with measles. The next one is cowdery bodies, and if you see these, or if they're mentioned, you want to be thinking about a herpes virus infection. And this one, CTG trinucleotide repeat, this is going to be in reference to myotonic dystrophy. So as you can see, it's really important to have all of these trinucleotide repeats down, because these are really easy questions to get right, or really easy questions to get wrong. Current jelly, if you ever see that term, you want to just jump immediately to sub-CL pneumoniae. It could be like an alcoholic patient with current jelly sputum. It's like really red sputum that they're coughing up. You definitely want to be thinking about Klebsiella. Kirschman spirals. I've talked about this one before. This is also in reference to asthma, and it was also in the high yield images videos. 
dermatitis herpetiformis, if you see a patient with this, uh, that patient most likely has celiac disease as well. So you want to make that association. Dew drops on a rose petal. Uh, this, I've never really seen it in many questions said just like that, but if it is, they're talking about VZV, varicella, zoster virus, or HSV, herpes simplex virus. Double bubble sign on x-ray, if you see this, it'll usually be in the abdomen, and that's going to be a sign of duodenal atresia. Erythema chronica migrans, this is also a really well-known one to medical students. This is, of course, the bullseye rash that is characteristic of Lyme disease. And the last one here, esophageal rupture. If you ever hear this, you really want to be thinking about Boerhaave syndrome. So that's the end of the video. I hope uh, that this was useful for you guys. Please, please subscribe. Leave me a comment, uh, any feedback that you have about what I could be doing better or about future videos I can make. Thank you so much for watching and good luck studying.